So nowadays a lot of people are talking about drones and satellites and using them in the agricultural space and in this video I will um, just briefly touch on how you can use drones and uh, satellites and uh, where you actually use them and also what the differences um, between them are. Um, currently I would say that there are two main differences between um, drones and satellites. Uh, the first one is drones um, have the ability to give you a lot higher resolution than what satellites currently can do. Uh, the second one is price. Um, drones are unfortunately still more expensive than satellite imagery, but uh, I think over time that would change. Uh, so currently those are the two main differences uh, between them. Um, for the remaining of the video I will quickly talk about um, four different um, types of uh, ways to actually get images. Uh, three of them are three different satellites and one of them are actually uh, using a drone. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is um, uh, this satellite here which is called Sentinel. Uh, this is actually what Sentinel-2 looks like. Uh, this is also uh, the satellite that we use for our products. So you will see that uh, these images here comes from uh, uh, this satellite. So this satellite, this actually there are actually two of them. They orbit the Earth once every five days, and that's also the reason why we actually see uh, that images come through every five days. Um, so uh, this satellite takes images at uh, 100 square meters per pixels, or um, also 10 meter uh, resolution. Um, so right now this product is priced around nine and a half thousand rand. And you will see how this compares with other sa satellites at the moment. Um, so really a very affordable way to actually start monitoring your crops. Um, so this, uh, these images are really great if you just want to monitor um, your crops on a very um, broad level on a field basis. Um, so they work great for that. Um, then if, if, we, if we move up one step, uh, we look at SPOT. Uh, SPOT is also a satellite uh, which works a little bit different from Sentinel. So this is an image of Spot uh, here and how this satellite works is you ask him or her I guess, it could be both uh, or any of them, um, to take photos on specific days. Now the great thing about that is that um, that means you can actually um, take photos um, on days where you don't have cloud cover and they also have like a you can also get like a cloud cover guarantee where if you have clouds they can continue to take photos until you don't have any clouds anymore um, so the main difference between these two satellites uh, between the Sentinel satellite and Spot is once again resolution and price so um, Spot at the moment um, has a resolution of 6 meter um, uh, which translates to 36 square meters per pixel. Um, so this is great if you just want to uh, get a little bit more detail than what uh, Sentinel uh, can get you. Um, so so this costs uh, with us around 24,000 Rand for five images. Um, so that's a great way to just to supplement um, uh, these um, lower resolution satellite images. Then, uh, so just talking quickly about where you use uh, these two um, uh, satellites. So what we found is that they actually work great um, with grains and grass, uh, just because they are they are normally lower margin crops and your economics are a, are a little bit different than when you've got uh, say nuts or when you've got lemons or uh, those kind of kind of trees. So uh, we normally recommend to use um, either sentinel or spot when you've got grains or, or grass. Um, so just moving uh, one up, um, this uh, is an image of Plahadis. Uh, Plahadis takes uh, let me just show you what Plaudis looks like. Uh, this is uh, Plaudis, uh, Plahard uh, for French. I think that's how you pronounce it in, in French. Um, and this satellite takes photos at uh, two meter resolution or four square meters per pixel. Um, so with this satellite, as you can see from this, you can actually start seeing individual rows. Um, so if we look at um, trees, uh, that's actually great to identify the different rows. Uh, whereas with uh, with Sentinel, you won't be able to see the different rows. So this is actually quite quite nice. Um, 
this satellite works very similar to spots um, in the way that uh, you ask uh, it to take photos on specific days. It also has like a specific cloud cover guarantee, which means that uh, you can just ask him to. Uh, it will it will automatically keep on taking photos until it doesn't have the cloud cover day anymore. So as you can see from from the pricing here, um, it's uh, more expensive than this one, uh, and you will see the trend here. The higher the resolution, the more expensive they they come they become. Um, and then lastly, we'll uh, look at a drone. So so we use two types of drones. We use a multi rotor or a quadcopter. So that's normally when you where you um, got those white um, DJI drones or um, Mavic Pros or those kind of drones. Uh, so that's the one we use, and the other one that we use is an EB, uh, which is uh, which looks like this. It's a fixed wing drone. Uh, this one normally takes images at about 10 centimeter resolution, which means that each pixel is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Uh, and with the quadcopter or the multi rotor, we can actually go down to one centimeter resolution, and that pretty much means that you can see each fruit by itself, uh, or on a very broad level, you can see the, um, the individual trees. So here, you, you in this image, you actually see uh, the different trees by itself. So there's a tree, there's a tree, um, there's a tree. So obviously, you can actually zoom in on this ev uh, image even more. Um, so if we look at the the pricing that goes up to 159,000 rand for five uh, images. So you, yeah, you keep on seeing this tree trajectory uh, where it gets more expensive the lower the resolution. Um, so if we look at an example between, um, uh, let's just look at the difference between um, Sentinel, which is this one, and a drone image. So this is Sentinel. Uh, you will see a very low res uh, resolution. It will give you a very interesting uh, idea of what's happening on this field. But if you actually look at um, let's just find the drone image. Uh, I'm gonna find it now. Okay, so here's the drone image. <clears throat> Obviously, this is a couple of months later, but if you zoom in on this uh, field, uh, you'll actually see the uh, nuances of of each field. Um, you can start uh, seeing a lot more detail than what you would be able to see with um, a satellite image. Uh, now you could potentially zoom in even more and more and more, um, but you'll get a good understanding of the differences between these two. So those are the differences between drones and satellites. Um, with grains, we normally recommend uh, just our base products um, with the satellite images. If you've got trees and you want to start seeing each individual tree by itself um, and do some really um, interesting analysis on it, um, like canopy cover and um, circumference of the trunks and um, yeah, start tracking each individual tree, then we would actually recommend drones.